Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a flawless matte foundation routine that's going to help you keep your makeup in place throughout the day. I'm not saying that your face is not going to get oily. It will slightly get oily but it's not going to be as oily as it would have been if you do not follow these steps. So I did film a foundation routine before but then I kind of felt like it was so basic and it wasn't really extensive and it wasn't really gonna help you guys uh, to keep your makeup in place so I had to real film it again uh, putting in some bits and pieces that were actually gonna help you guys keep your makeup in place throughout the day so please watch this video until the end because right at the end I'm gonna do like um, wear test for you guys to see how my foundation looks like after a full day a full eight nine two hours day because right now it's 10 a.m and i am filming this for you so i hope you guys are actually going to enjoy this video if you want to see how i actually achieve my matte flawless makeup routine then just keep watching this video so because I actually have dry skin, what I like to do before I start applying my foundation is spray water all over my face. You can use rose water, you can use uh, pure water like this is rose water that I just put in a different bottle because the other pump it stopped working. So I'm just spraying that all over my face. In your birthday shoe. So anyone with any skin type can actually do this it doesn't matter if you have oily skin because putting water on your skin is just gonna make it dewy and dewiness doesn't really cause oiliness so next in I go with my Maybelline instant pore eraser this is a good primer which is actually a dupe for the Smashbox uh, primer so if you cannot afford the Smashbox primer then definitely go for this Maybelline one you Primer really helps with keeping your makeup in place the whole day. So whether you have oily skin or whether you have dry skin, you definitely need to prime your face. Before I actually fill in my brows, I like to bake them. And to bake them, I am using the powder that you know I use on this channel most of the time, which is the Black Opal Finishing Powder. And I just apply it all over my eyebrows just to make sure that they don't get oily. They do get oily a lot. I know this ain't all you want from me And you've been feeling how deep it can be And you should also keep in mind that when your eyebrows are oily They get erased so easily So then I just go ahead and I fill in my eyebrows In your birthday shoe Girl if you know what I got for you and then to shape my eyebrows today, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution or Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is an amazing concealer. I've been trying it for the past few days and I am ashamed to say that I love it more than the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. <laughs> so yes, I'm just going to use that to shape my eyebrows. I really like this concealer because even if it's a full coverage, it's still very matte. So it doesn't really crease and um, cause like crease lines under my eyes like the Illegal Pro HD Concealer. It's a really full coverage light formula. So if you want a concealer that's going to stay throughout the whole day, then please guys get this concealer. I'm going to put all details where you can find this concealer in the description box. So quickly before the oils start picking through, you want to set your eyelids. Girl, if you know what I got for you, don't think you can have a shoe. If you have any areas on your skin that tend to get oily, you can also set them before you apply your foundation. I get uh, oily under eyes, so I'm just gonna set my under eyes before I apply foundation. If you have super dry skin, please don't do this because this is just going to crack your makeup. But if you are someone who has oily skin or combination skin, I definitely advise you to do that. You can even set your under eyes if your under eyes are oily and are your T-zone actually, your whole T-zone and your chin as well. But if you have dry skin, please do not do it. If you want foundation that's gonna stay throughout the day, you need to look for a foundation that is matte 
that is oil free and that is a full coverage today i'm going to be using my no shine mattifying foundation this is from you look london but there are so many other options from the drugstore including the rimmel or lasting finishing 25 hour foundation it's a very good foundation full coverage and it also lasts for a long time the other foundation is well from the drugstore and from maybelline which is also one of my favorites is actually the superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation then the other foundation that is also from the drugstore is the maybelline fit me foundation however this is not a full coverage foundation but it is a matte foundation so it is bound to stay throughout the day now the reason why you want to go for a full coverage foundation is because you do not want to use a lot of product on your face because the more product you put on your face the more your skin is gonna get oily so you want to look for a full coverage foundation whereby you're gonna use little products to cover a whole area on your face if you use a foundation that is not a full coverage foundation you're probably gonna have to put a lot of product on your face to try and build up the coverage when blending your foundation for a matte look stay away from the brush try and use a beauty blender by all possible means because a beauty blender blends your foundation seamlessly and it sinks directly into your skin however the brush on the other hand will leave streaks and marks on your skin so try to use the beauty blender instead if you follow the steps that i showed you your face should be looking something like this so highlight i'm using the same concealer which is the makeup revolution concealer and now when you highlight your under eyes you don't want to apply your concealer right directly under your under eyes because there is fine lines there and if you dare touch those fine lines with your concealer directly with your concealer you're going to crease throughout the day so i like to apply my concealer further away from my under eyes And you can see I'm still using the same amount of product that I, I took from the bottle in the beginning. I'm not adding more product. Do not use too much product on your face. The more product you use, the more your skin will get oily. So quickly you want to start blending before the oils start peeping out again. And you can see I'm not blending under my fine lines. I am just blending where I applied the concealer. Now when it appears as if there is no concealer left, then that's when you want to take your blender and go right under your eyes. And once you're done with your concealer and highlighting, you want to start using uh, your baking powder quickly as well uh, before you start getting oily. And I am using my Black Opal True Color Finishing Powder, and it's a very good powder. And you guys are going to see me a lot using it on this channel because I really love it. So you take that and you apply it on all areas you highlighted applying your baking powder you don't want to swipe the powder on your skin you want to blot to use like a blotting technique so try to use like a, a powder puff from one of your compact powders or if you have those wedges try to use those wedges and blot out your skin like pack the powder into your highlight instead of swiping it I also get oily right here on my smiling lines and I also like to apply some baking powder there and I also like to go back just a little bit onto my eyebrows again just to make sure that there is no oil there to blot out all the other areas I didn't highlight I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics contour palette 
I'm not contouring, I'm just applying like powder on all these other areas I did not bake. And I am taking this color right here, which is almost close to my skin tone. You can also even use a compact powder to do what I'm doing right now. So whilst your bake is sitting, you wanna do your eyes. This is a step that is totally unnecessary. If you're someone who does their eyes before their foundation, then go ahead and just bake for like two minutes. But because I didn't do my eyes, then I'm gonna take this time to do my eyes. baking you can also take time to actually contour your face and I'm still using the same BH cosmetics uh, contour palette it's cool I know you come in up I like how you can show me how you feel the motion stop and it's the last time then I promise girl it's over it made me feel like I ain't felt before And you don't need to say it loud I can see it through your mouth mm. And for blush, I am using my current favorite blush from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna apply it on my cheekbones I'll be big and be My mama said don't fall in love Heaven knows you like a drug mm. Yeah, I know Won't you pull out Another trick for your highlighter to stay in place the whole day is uh, to take your highlighting brush and then spray some setting spray on it or even spray some water on it. If you haven't tried this trick, try it and thank me later. So today I'm using my LA Girl uh, Strobe Light Strobing Powder. I'm gonna mix it together with my Manizer Sisters aka the Luminizers and I'm just gonna take both highlighters and mix them to achieve a glow. Boy, kinda glad. I'd have asked for it. This was meant to be. I don't know, I don't know. We ain't really, really planned for it. Uh, all we trying to do is figure it out. Ain't the type to just let it all out. Them the lights, let me open you out. On the road to a stoppable route. It's kinda getting too loud. Uh huh. It's the last time, then I promise, girl, it's over. I make you feel like you ain't felt before. You don't need to see. Now for the last part of the foundation routine. I go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Holy Grail, guys. I love it so much and uh, it's almost out now. It's almost finished and I need to get another one. I really love this uh, setting spray. It's my go-to makeup setting spray. And then I just spray that all over my face. <sighs> I'm just gonna go a little bit overboard because, yay, the more setting spray you put, the more your makeup stays in place the whole day for my lips i'm gonna go in with my nyx lip lingerie and i'm just applying that first my day and do the stuff that I want to do and I'll come back to you guys in the night or in the evening just to show you how my face looks like and I promise I'm not going to touch up I'm not going to do anything to it so that you guys can actually see how my foundation wears throughout the day so now I'm back We've and it's actually about 9 and 
nice and you can see how my foundation is looking like I'm obviously slightly a bit oily like on all on my t-zone and I also have a uh, good and like some fine lines like I smile a lot so I do have some fine lines but you can see that my foundation is still in place I didn't touch it up I didn't blot it out I didn't do anything to my face and of course I was working during the day and nothing happened to my foundation my foundation still stayed intact so i hope you guys are actually going to enjoy this video if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and also please guys just help nosipo mklanga if you know nosipo please help her guys help her become the face of pons south africa 2018 to vote for nosipo go to the pons facebook page and then click on the competition portal and then just type Nosipon Klanga. Help her win, guys. I really want this for her. I actually need it for her. So, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye. I like where they come from. They get you out your comfort zone to make you feel where I really come from. Still trying to take it in because it's moving too fast. You just love it how you fell for it. Because you had a wall built, all it took was a moment going.